Alicia Smith, and I'm going to be teaching um, hypoglycemia to you today. You had a reading assignment in your canvas that I posted last week, along with a voiceover PowerPoint for you to look at prior to coming to class today. So we're going to take just a few minutes, about a minute, and I want you to um, answer some questions, okay? So tell me um, what is hypoglycemia, or what do you think hypoglycemia is? And you can write it on your piece of paper that's provided for you. will be what are some things that we can teach our patients that um, experience hypoglycemia?
have stomach virus, and so they've not ate for a couple of days. This one can cause their blood sugar to drop. Delayed time of eating. It's very important for those patients who take insulin to eat at certain times because if not, their sugar will drop. And then they'll experience those signs and symptoms, that hunger, thirst, um, dizziness, um, lay, uh, sleepiness. Too much exercise. So they have to be careful that they don't exercise too much because then it can cause a rapid drop in their blood sugar. And then alcohol. Alcohol can cause a low blood sugar as well. So how do we know or how do we assess that our patient has a low blood sugar? Well, of course, we know the signs and symptoms. Maybe confused, sweaty, I'm sleepy, hard to wake up. So we go and we get what's called a, a blood glucose um, monitor, and we prick their finger, and we check their, their blood sugar. And if it's below 70, then we need to begin treatment. If it's greater than 70, we may need to investigate further for the cause of signs or symptoms. Sometimes patients can have an 80 blood sugar, and they may be symptomatic, and we may need to treat them. If monitoring equipment is not available, then treatment should be initiated. So if I can't find a blood glucose monitor anywhere on the floor and I know my patient has these signs and symptoms, I need to go ahead and treat my patient. So how are we gonna treat our patient? The rule of 15. So we want them to consume 15 grams of a simple carbohydrate. This can be orange juice, this can be a regular soft drink, at least four to six ounces. Then we're gonna recheck their glucose level in 15 minutes. And if it is still less than 70, then we're gonna repeat this. Give them some more um, orange juice or some more soft drink, some peanut butter and crackers, something to try to get their, their sugar levels up. But we wanna to avoid over treatment because if we load them too much of this, what's gonna happen is their, their sugar is gonna rebound and then it's gonna go sky high and we don't want that to happen. So then we're gonna give them a complex carbohydrate after they recover. Now let's say that our patient is in the facility and we go in there and we decided that you know, the rule of 15 is not what we need to do because let's say that our patient is not awake, our patient is not conscious. So we've got to do something else because we can't give that patient some food because they're not awake. And then that runs the risk of other complications. So we can give them 50% dextrose, IV push. We can give them glucagon, one milligram IM or sub Q. And then we can explore the reasons why the hypoglycemia occurred, whether we give them um, medicines by IV or we do the rule of 15. So we need to teach our patient to check their blood glucose levels often. We need to make sure that they stay alert to the signs and symptoms of hypoglycemia. We need to make sure that they see those signs right off the bat, they notice them, whether it's family or their cells. And, and they go ahead and they get that rule of 15, they get them some orange juice, they get them um, a Coke or something to try to get their sugar back up. They always need to keep candy or glucose tablets handy. Um, eat those as necessary, such as uh, peppermint, um, any type of candy that's real sugary. Properly trained individual how to use the um, glucagon emergency kit, so that kit that I was just showing you, we need to show our patient how to do that um, intramuscular and then have that patient demonstrate that back to us. And these patients also need to wear a medical alert bracelet. Say I'm a diabetic, they usually carry a little card around with them and it will tell people what to do to um, help them to recover. If, if you walk up to, let's say, a kid at school and they're unconscious, 
and they have a medical alert bracelet on. Then you can look at the card and you can see um, what you need to do. So the goal of my presentation today was for you to be able to define hypoglycemia, have proper recognition of signs and symptoms, proper treatment interventions, so that we have positive patient outcomes. Are there any questions? All right, so I'm gonna give you guys just a few minutes and give you some question and answer cards. One um, set of cards has the question and the other set has the answer. So I'm gonna let you work together for just a few minutes and see if y'all can put the, these are the questions and these are the answers. I'm gonna let y'all work together and see if you can come up with the right answers. for you guys and it is to find to see who can find the most um, words in this word search and the one who finds the most will be awarded a prize now don't forget guys to continue to read in your book this comes from your Iggy your med search book um, I will have some more assignments posted for you to complete before next week's lecture